We help run the city. We are the administrative uh, staff of all city agencies. We're in the police department, we're in the fire department, we're in the hospitals. So there is a conglomeration of services that we provide, um, as well as providing for our members who are actually union members. The city administrative managers are, uh, have been around for a very long time, and so have I. And so I know their history. And when I began working for the city in 1972, to be an administrative manager was a big deal. And it was, they were jobs pre held predominantly by white men who were at the level of assistant commissioners in some cases. And as the, over the years, the number of women and minorities moved into those jobs, we saw how administrative managers were not being treated the same. So a, a job in the 70s that might have paid $30,000, by, by the late 90s, just based on inflation, would have been almost $90,000. And so we said, what's the city paying these women? And they were paying them $53,000 a year. And so we were able to first go to arbitration, raise that by almost $9,000. And then with the lawsuit, the federal EEOC said, there's blatant discrimination here, to the tune of with, with these 1,200 administrative managers to the tune of almost a quarter billion dollars. And so from there, we engaged the city in, in negotiations to try to get this thing settled. And now we've established in the, in the settlement uh, that was approved, just approved by the courts, a pathway for our members to get to the $90,000. Basically, they started at 53,000. The lowest level administrative manager will go up to 71,000 if they work seven years in that title. That's $20,000 difference. That's a big wage gap difference um, that they should have been paid through time, over time. Well, I call Gloria our closer. It, it, we started the suit in 2013, and it got to the point where I said, Gloria, you're gonna have to finish this. And I'll be right behind you, helping you any way I can. The challenge for me was stepping in Arthur's shoes that can't be filled. Um, but I came to the realization that all I can do is just be me. And I had the commitment, I had the love of the union, I had the love of the labor movement, and I just worked with that. And doing that and working with my experts that have, have been involved with this from, uh, day, from the beginning, um, we were able to get to that finish line. To receive this uh, Hero of Labor Awards, it means that uh, we have been doing our work over the years. And uh, it, it's important because of Emblem's uh, work with city unions that goes back to the LaGuardia era. It has been part of my mission to be able to help and assist people in the community. And for me now in uh, labor, help my union sisters and brothers. Of course, Emblem Health and Labor Press for sponsoring this event and thanking so much of me to be given this honor. Um, always my president emeritus, Arthur Teliotis, who taught me so much, and my executive board.